All right, going to show some very blatant examples of Illuminati all-seeing eye of Horus, Luciferian symbolism in the Simpsons cartoon. Probably the longest lasting cartoon on TV ever. Probably since I think the 1980s, I think it was. Oh, my cat is going to jump on the desk. Of course. He just had to do that, didn't he? Of course it happens. Oh, well. Let's get back to recording the video. All right, sorry, just had a bit of an interruption error with my cat, as usual. And of course, he's probably going to do it again, but... I'm going to show some examples of Illuminati symbolism in the Simpsons cartoon. And just showing more examples of this Illuminati symbolism in cartoons for kids. You know, kids cartoons. So here's a picture of, right there blatantly in your face, the all-seeing eye of Horus flashed for like a split second uh, on the American One Dollar Bill. When American One Dollar Bill says in God we trust, they're referring to the god of the Illuminati, the god of the Freemason Lodge, which is Lucifer. And you have there the all-seeing eye of Horus, the Illuminati symbolism, flash right there for like a split second, which goes into your subconscious. You don't notice it at first, but it'll go straight into your subconscious and you'll flash images in your mind that the Illuminati puts in their cartoons subliminally. That's the first picture. Here is the next picture of, again, they're, they're going to give a speech and you have the you know, all-seeing eye symbol, the one-eyed symbol. Uh, as one of the uh, decorations on that red carpet thing there. And, you know, again, just subliminal messages, because you'll think, oh, it, it's just innocent. They're just putting it there as just, just a fun little decoration. Again, why, why the eye symbol? Kind of a weird thing to put an eye symbol there. Why? It's subliminal programming from the Illuminati. In children's cartoons, the, the Jesuit the Jesuit ran Illuminati is putting these symbols in to subliminally program your kids. Oops. Sorry about that. I had a bit of an interruption there. Uh, but that's what they do. That's, that's how the Illuminati operates. Here's the next picture of these, I guess, these other characters in The Simpsons going through these toys. And you notice the toys on top of their head has the Illuminati pyramid with the all-seeing eye of Horus on top of it. So, you, again, you, you notice it in the background, okay? But how your subconscious works is the images will go in there, okay? You don't know that, but they go into your subconscious and you they flash in your subconscious and you see that the Illuminati symbol is in there and then you know because the Illuminati they're very good at, at psychological games they're very good at psychological mind control and they subliminally put these messages messages in these cartoons so then when you don't notice them but your subconscious does then you get this, these images in your mind floating around in your mind that's how the Illuminati operates in their programming hence why the TV shows are called TV programs interesting here's a close-up shot of these uh, toys that are in the Simpsons cartoon of their Illuminati all-seeing eye of Horus uh, imagery they have in there, the subliminal imagery that is put in there to go into your subconscious and flash these images in your mind to float around in your subconscious to get you into the Illuminati brainwashing program that is on TV, or I like to call it Hollywood, or the Hellovision. That's what I like calling it. The television is just a, a propaganda arm for the Antichrist, a propaganda arm for the Jesuit ran Illuminati. Plain and simple. But those are just four examples. I mean, you can just search up any, just the hundreds of examples of these kinds of Illuminati symbolism and, and programming in these so called children's cartoons. And it's all over the place. These are just, these cartoons are just packed with Illuminati occult symbolism, Luciferian symbolism. From obviously the Jesuit ran Illuminati and the Jesuit ran Luciferian doctrines and the Luciferian order. And the Jesuit ran Freemasons as well. You can get into that as well. A whole other issue. But just wanted to show those couple examples of yet more examples of basically the Illuminati symbolism in the cartoons supposedly for kids on the kids channel on you know Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon or whatever else. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.